this is Emily Halifax. Thanks for checking in with me. Uh, first, I want to apologize for the background. I My house is full of boxes because I'm getting ready to open my shop here in Tulsa and my house is filled with boxes and items I'm going to sell and it's just a catastrophe. Um, I was going to be in one place and then it fell through and so my house is filled with boxes and it's 3 a.m. I'm tired. Um, this spell took me an hour and a half to prep, so I'm tired. So, um, excuse that too. Tomorrow is the full moon and I have three more spells to do, so... And I'm just so busy right now with with this shop opening and um, I was gonna do this spell tomorrow for my client but I was like I gotta do it tonight this is a power spell okay purple is for power it's a really pretty spell I make all my spells pretty um, I don't know if you can see the plate there very well, but it's a really pretty spell. It's got all those tea lights around it, nine of them, and it's it's got um, frankincense, and it actually has love herbs surrounding the main candle, and I'm going to talk about that. So I have one main purple um, jumbo candle and then I have seven supporting candles I have three high John roots down here pretty big ones actually um, I have the petition over here and I write my petitions on paper that is um, that has to do with the um, the spell, so purple. And I am glitter happy, as you know, so I use glitter. And I always use the conditioning oil for, <clears throat> for the spell. So I used power. Let me just quickly go over some of the materials that I use. So I use the candles that I talked about. Um, I, um, as far as the conditioning oils, um, of course I used Power, okay, from Lucky Mojo, but the other, um, the other oils that I used, I did not use any pa uh, powder on the candles, which is something that I usually do if you've watched any of my other videos, but I sprinkled powder around the plate. Um, I'm a strong intuitive and intuitively I felt that these candles only needed to be dressed in oil. I don't know why, I just felt that the powder needed to be off the candles. So that's what I did. And by the way, I don't follow recipes for spells. I do what is on my heart and they seem to have good success. So. I bless all of my materials. I actually bought this recently. A little shout out to um, this place in Tulsa called Oz. I haven't been in there in years. I went in there and I got this Ananda Clearing Negativity. It's a resin and I love resins. And it's, uh, it has frankincense, mirth, copal, bay leaves, sandalwood, lavender, sugar, rosemary, orange peel, cinnamon, rose petals, amber, clove. It's, it's really awesome. And it smells awesome and you burn it on your, uh, on your, whoops, on your charcoal and it's, uh, it's clearing negativity. That's the name of the um of the thing and it comes and there's so many different um types it was like ten dollars i'm actually gonna see if they do wholesale i might want some of these at my shop haha 
We'll see. Anyways, um, oil-wise, not only did I use the power oil, but I used frankincense and I used bergamot. You don't need expensive oils. I'm a Young Living member and I have a bunch of their oils. I'm crazy. I have like thousands of dollars worth of Young Living oils. I, I just do. I've, I've collected them over the years. A regular bottle of frankincense from Young Living is over $80. 80 This is made by Nature's Alchemy. I got this on Amazon. I got it, um, I don't, I don't even know when I got it, but it's, um, it was like, it wasn't even that expensive, okay? And, and that's fine. You can use an oil that's not that expensive. And, and by the way, okay, so this is frankincense right here. This is frankincense. This is a frankincense resin. If a spell calls for, and here's some bergamot, and bergamot is an herb. If it calls for an herb and you don't have it, but you have the oil, use it. Look, where do, where do oils come from, right? They are distilled and they come from plants, right? So they go hand in hand. Um, so there's nothing wrong with using an oil if you can't get an herb. It's fine, no problem. So I use those in addition. The other thing that I used, which you would never, you probably would never find this in a hoodoo recipe for a spell. Huh, <laughs> recipe. Um, you, you would never find this, but see, this is what I mean. This is how I tailor my stuff to my, to, to my spells for, for myself. It doesn't mean I don't practice hoodoo. It means I like to add things. Um, I just recently got my, um, a, a new attunement in Reiki. And I have these really amazing oils from um, Blue, Moon, Blue Moon Herbals. And I added some sacral chakra oil. Um, it's really awesome. So the sacral chakra. What is it that camera? Okay, sacral chakra. There we go. To feel and to want. Okay, it's your sacral. And the heart chakra, to love and to be loved. The reason that I added these is because my client who wanted this spell, you know, we wrote down all her stuff. We wrote down all her stuff right here. And, you know, let me just read a few things. Why she feels unpowerful. No ability to influence anything. Feels helpless. Feels insignificant, unimportant. Feels small. What, what does powerful feel like to her? The magician. The magician in the tarot. Which can create anything. She can think for herself and she's not influenced by others, especially... Uh, a family member of hers. There's somebody in her family that she's very influenced by. She does not fear the unknown. If you are powerful, you don't fear the unknown. You embrace it. You say, I'm powerful and I'm not afraid of shit. And I put in parentheses death, meaning the death card. Break the cycle that blocks you from your future. She came in for a reading and she was just so stuck and she and that's that's no power and let me tell you something I can't wait to open my shop I hope you guys are watching me on my website right now my clients my soon-to-be soon-to-be clients because I'm gonna have classes and some of them are gonna be free to start off with and I want to teach you guys how to get your power back because I see it all the time. Women coming in and sitting in my chair right here. They've lost their power. They've lost their way. They, they, you know, a man has taken it away from them. It's almost always a man that's taken it away from them. Then those damn men, Jesus Christ. 
And you are strong women and you just need to find your strength and there are ways to do it. Okay? And it doesn't mean you have to go to psychotherapy and go on Prozac. So, we'll talk about that. Anyways, um, so I anointed, I anointed all the candles with those oils that I told you about. And then on my plate, I put my main pillar candle and I put... Um, just like I put the, um, the chakra stuff, I put love herbs. I put love herbs surrounding the pillar candle. And the reason for that is because I want this girl to have some self-love. Because if you love yourself, that's where the power comes from. Power comes from within. When you feel small, insignificant, unimportant, and inadequate, where's your self-love? Where is it? You don't have any. It's gone. So I put love herbs. Um, the other thing I put was frankincense resin. And the reason for that is because this is an extremely powerful, magical, um, it's a resin, it's not an herb. And it's also great for protection in the sense that protecting your ability. Okay, so if I'm gonna make you powerful, let's protect it. Let's protect you from going backwards. Um, and I also put some, a little bit, I, I threw some magnetic sand in there because I want her to attract it. I want her to attract that power and hold on to it. Um, and like I said, I sprinkled some power, um, some power, power powder, <laughs> sachet powder all around here. And, um, and like I said, I put the high John roots down here, three of them, because that's the lucky number. Um, and so that's what I did. And I have our petition paper down here and a picture of her under the plate. So I'm getting ready to go light this up. It's 10 after 3 a.m. I'm very tired. I have to be up uh, in about five hours. And um, so that's, um, that's pretty much it. I have to do some prosperity work tomorrow for a client who lives in California. And I have a client who lives in um, Barbados. God, I always want to say Bahamas. In Barbados, I'm doing work for her tomorrow. And I have a client here where I live in Tulsa that I'm doing work for tomorrow. So I have three complex spells I'm doing tomorrow, um, which honestly, that's going to be between three hours and four and a half hours of prep work. It's exhausting. It's exhausting. <laughs> so... It takes a lot of energy from me. So anyways, this is how you do a power spell. You can tweak it if you want to tweak it. I use all the supporting candles because I like extra power. Um, I'm going to be reciting Psalm 23. And um, I'm also going to ask for St. Expedite to come in and uh, bring us something, uh, bring some fast, urgent um uh, to help urgently with this matter because this, this girl needs this to happen quickly. Okay. Sorry, I'm tired. I'm talking a little bit extra. Anyways, um, check out my website, um, emilyhalifax.com. Um, I do offer spell work. I offer spell instruction. Um, I offer distance Reiki. Um, I offer all kinds of stuff. So, and, um, yeah, remember, you have the power. It's in your mind, it's in your heart, and it's in your hands. Don't ever forget that. Thanks for watching. Have a good night.